Welcome fellow citizens to my new video. Behind me stands one of the most beautiful ships in the game, the 600i. To me, 600i have such a beautiful lines and it's also dressed in this beautiful Fortuna green paint. I really love this paint. I haven't been dreaming my ship for a long time because I was testing all other ships, but it is time to test this ship in the master modes to see how powerful really is and can we really do the ERT missions with this ship now to me this ship is has one of the most amazing outside designs but inside it's not so great so rework is in the plan of CIG but when will that happen nobody knows now they did fix one crucial thing for me I will open the door and show you this is a 600i exploration edition which has a hangar the Turing doesn't have hangar it just has a stairs beautiful stairs here and of course living room now here this pl plate was before without the gravity so if you put something on it it will fall out for example I would often put my Mirai Fury here and it will just slide off as soon as I open the door or if you put a cargo boxes when you are pulling this ship they will slide off so that was a really annoying bug and finally it's fixed it these plates now have gravity okay let's go inside now the interior interior is as I said it's very nice but it's not useful right now you cannot do a lot of things Look at this hangar for example, these things are blocking the most of the hangar. Why is this so big? There's no need for that. Yeah, we have this beautiful marble wall and also the true captain quarters. This room reminds me so much of the Captain Shepard quarters on Mass Effect. All I need is a fish tank right now and a collection of ships and yeah. I have that vibes really such a nice place to be we are not here to enjoy how luxurious this ship is we are going to test this ship how powerful it is on the back of the ship there is a kitchen and also armory and some escape pods and pods for the suits and also beds for the crew here we have some more escape pods or this is a suit locker so I do not really know if you'd write no write down in the comments to me it will be logical to be a escape fault, but it's not written. Now the bridge. The bridge is also very nice and beautiful and it has this open glass view which is really amazing. The only thing for me that is downside is you are sitting here and not here. Let me just demonstrate. If you sit in a pilot seat, this is what you see. You do not see underneath the ship your viewing point is much more limited now let's sit down now look at the view you can see much more look at this it's all open on the left side on the right side upstairs downstairs to me this makes much more sense to be place from which it will be piloted now the setup of the ship we have two shields fr86 we have one quantum drive xl1 and i think i have a stock power plants and stock coolers which you do not really have to upgrade now for the weapons we have this three size m7a these are the size 5 weapons and they are really powerful top speed for scm guns is 165 the boost 303 the top speed is 975 not bad not bad for such a big ship so what we are going to do turn all power to shields turn this and then I will relocate the power to shields at the front 40% we will set it up around here and we will increase our firepower and let's go into a fight fire Attack. 
turn around. Oh wait. See this? He just want to ram you. It's crazy. Okay, his shield is down. He will not last long against mighty ship like this. Oh, the engine blew up. That was nice. Bam. Let's turn around for the next. 890 jump will be last. What, what the hell? These ships are crazy. Why are they ramming? Look at this. Stupid Corsair. Okay, let's deal with him. Corsair is a powerful ship too. You don't want to mess it with him. Especially if he turns like this. We have to go behind him. Otherwise you will get shredded. Now 600 i is also very slow turning rate, so yeah. I don't even know where I'm turning right now. Look at it. You just want to ram you. The turning rate is so slow. I don't know if it feels more slower than last time. Before the master moves. Write down in the comments. Do you know if the 600i was made more sluggish than before? It feels now like a Corsair and Corsair is one of the slowest turning ships and this one is here out maneuvering me easily. Oh, nicely done. Who is the next one? Oh, 890 jump, okay. Let's go. Oh, there's a A2 there, never mind. We will go for 890 jump. Somehow the master modes have more sense when you play with the big ships. They are slow, they are turning slow, they cannot escape. Yeah, but when you play with the smaller ships, it just doesn't make sense to me. Done. We've killed him. Perfect. Let him fall down. We will go for the next target. Contract complete. So if you have a big powerful ship, the ERT missions are very easy to finish. But downside of that, you need a bigger ship. So yeah, that's that. Or collect a team and then go hunt ERT missions. He's done for it. Okay, that was fairly easy if it wasn't for the Corsair. Okay, we are closing in on a set of the next targets. We are going for the Constellation first as always. We have a Hammerhead, okay. Ooh, this will not be easy. Oh my god, look at that Hammerhead shreds. And the server is amazing, yeah. Maybe I should hide behind an asteroid. Damn that hammerhead. Now I'm ramming him like crazy. I blow up one of his engines though. 
turn up the decoupled mode. Oh damn, that hammerhead though. That annoying ship does. Look at him, he wants to just ram you. Oh my god. My shield is going down, I'm going to escape to recharge a little bit. Oh, Hammerhead is dropping his shield. And I have a lot of missiles. Look at them go. That's a hit. Nice. Fire. Ooh, that was nice. He's fallen into our classic trap. He dropped the shield to hunt me. And now he's vulnerable. Now he's turning the shield on. But it's too late. His back shield is dropped. Have to get in a position. Oh my god, come on. The bad thing here is Hammerhead is more maneuverable than I am. I think the 600 i is not what it was used to be. And the D-Sync is back. <laughs> He's casually teleporting away from me. I think those missiles actually killed his weapons. Because the other ships are shooting at me and the hammerhead it doesn't. So yeah, if you manage to pull him to drop his shield, you can take him very nicely down with a few missiles. I've heard that the Saber now, the new Saber, Firebird, is actually becoming real Firebird and now has 24 missiles, well, at least from the next patch, size 3. And that will be amazing, nice, we killed it. That will be enough to kill the Hammerhead, in my opinion. Yep. I've disabled his weapons with all of that missiles. I probably took down all of his components and voila. Oh yeah, you can turn faster if you use boost. That's a plus. I hate these conies. They are powerful right now too. They have four size fives now as a stock weapon. Look at this. I was wasting my shield that easy. Yep, you can increase a lot of maneuverability with the boost now. The boost is actually essential. Finally! Caterpillar, I'll leave it there. Another one! Oh, damn these ships. I'm gonna just stand here like a duck. The good thing about the master mode, the shield also recharges even if you have 100% of the weapons. Granted, double slower, but still it recharges. I constantly have a little bit shield. Oh my god, he's shooting like crazy. And he, he killed me. Damn that ship. How did he kill me? I had a shield. Alright, that was it my fellow citizens. The 600i is very powerful ship and it can deal with almost any bounty. Granted I should have fixed my ship before going into the second bounty but still I managed to kill the hammerhead. And that's also a very good tip to use missiles, to lure him out, drop the shield and then fire missiles and the missiles can really damage him with it without shields. So write me down in the comments what do you think about 600i in master modes. Thank you for watching, if you like this video please subscribe, like and share. And until next video, have fun out there citizens, and don't die like I did.